Wait, it's Lihang. Why just now? Yeah. Why I put you zero on? Oh, no. Because you have a letter you put. Hey, what was? Why you give me a letter, really? Huh? I said I might not come. Oh, might not come, so... Okay, so I skipped uh, just now. Right, okay, my announcement, uh, only one announcement. <clears throat> I would love to clarify on your test, right? Your test, uh, some people ask me what's the syllabus, uh, what will come out, uh, and so on. Uh, let me clarify one more, thing, one more time. Your MCQ will be 100% chapter 3 only. Your MCQ will be 100% chapter 3. Your essay, however, because sometimes it will link to the tax burden, it will link to the subsidies, right? So it will link to the elasticity, PD and PS. So you need to know a little bit of PD PS, otherwise you cannot do the essay. Make sense? That's the only linkage huh, for the elasticity. The rest will be in final. Does that make sense? So at least you need to know some factors of PD, some factors of PS, and maybe the definition as well. Right. This is the only thing I want to announce, right? Any question for your test that you are not clear tomorrow? No, huh? everyone clear? Test is tomorrow, 3 to 5, in that what room? Huh? NWTR45. NWTR45 room. Bring your laptop. Some people don't have laptop. Huh? Bring your laptop. Already downloaded the lockdown browser or not? Download it. Run already or not? Can run or not? Go back and try, uh, must run until you can log into Elon. Okay, run until you can log into Elon, right? After the essay tomorrow, after you submit, I will show you how to go into the assessment to do the multiple choice. Okay, make sense? That's all. Any question? This is 20%, no? right? GG mean GG, yeah? too bad, no? no help, right? Now I want to discuss on chapter three. Some people ask me for chapter three answers, right? At the same time, the answer guide is already uploaded in your chapter, in the general channel files tab, right? This, I go through the class practices, then only I go through the tutorial questions. The second hour, we, are, we will start from production again. Okay, we'll start with chapter four again, right? First of all, when I want to see a diagram, price for pricing. I said before, you don't need to label P, Q, it doesn't matter. That was chapter two. I want to see Q, D, and Q, S. And here is Q, S, Q, D. If it's a price flow, Q, S must be on the right hand side of Q, D. Price flow, right? <clears throat> and some people still don't know how to define. Let me repeat one more time. I don't want to write down already. I already written there last time in the recap session. Minimum price can be defined as a price floor imposed by the government above the equivalent price to protect the producer. After I read the definition, then only I write my explanation. This is an explanation, right? For example, after the minimum price, blah, blah, blah. Some people become high, having high income, but it will create another problem. QS is greater than QD, blah, blah, blah. This one is all I copied from my PowerPoint slides. So we can refer to that for explanation, right? For price ceiling, same thing. I want to see QD is greater than QS. I want to see the dotted line. I want to see the D and S. I want to see the P max, right? Something like that, right? You must be able to write something for maximum price. The definition is similar to minimum price. Right, maximum price is a price ceiling imposed by the government below the current price to protect the consumers. Right, then only write about this explanation. Something, 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 QD greater than QS and so on. Right. This one, although some of you is in the recording, right, but you should know by now, vertical distance between two supply curve. <laughs> After you learn chapter three, uh, ladies and gentlemen, regardless of what is the question, don't draw simple diagram like that. Don't draw simple like diagram like that. I want at least incidence of tax or incidence of subsidies when you draw diagrams. Draw the entire thing, the consumer burden, the producer burden, the area, right? 
because you really know chapter three. If this one is chapter two, still okay. Okay, but for now, regardless of essay in the tomorrow class or final exam, don't draw like that. This is too simple. You will not get full marks. Maximum I can give you is one mark if you draw like that. Okay, you must draw the entire picture, which is the incidence of text, which is something like that, right? Something like that. Must draw something like that for me, uh, please. Uh. Consumer burden must labor, producer burden must labor. And how to explain the same thing only. Whatever you learn is specific text. Specific text means it's text per unit. That's why the gradient will change. Don't draw, don't draw, not parallel. Supply curve must shift parallel, right? Supply curve to supply curve must be parallel to each other, right? That is the unit text. Okay. And okay. <clears throat> I brief you one more last time uh, as a revision. Uh. For the text burden and elasticity, this one is a very popular question, right? When is demand is elastic, make sure you draw your D looks like E. I want to see very clearly and obvious consumer burden is less than producer burden, right? For example, restaurant, I will say what? Oh, because there are many options for restaurants. So the restaurant owners, they don't dare to pass too much tax to the consumers. If I tax, tax it very high, you just go to next door, restaurant next door. Then I cannot give you as well as my customer. Does that make sense? Because of that, for those demand curve that's elastic or have many options, many choices, many substitutes, producer will absorb most of the burden themselves, the tax themselves. They only charge very minimum tax. You can see some of the restaurants until now they never never impose the SST. You know. Why they do that? Too rich. Huh? Is the restaurant too rich? No one. Uh, there are some, some are very small restaurants and those who don't, don't, don't dare. Why? Because they, uh, they are afraid that if they pass the SST to you, you will go to the next store that don't charge the SST. Right? Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. So they absorb, they absorb most of the tax. Uh, something like that, right? Like that. Okay? Because this is for demand elastic. Demand elastic. Now I use back the normal example of cigarettes, right? Cigarettes, because you're edited, you are not sensitive. Remember I say what? You either write non-sensitive, not not flexible, not responsive, right? To the price changes. Cigarettes, they are edited already, man, right? They don't care about the price one. Even you increase the tax by 100%, they also don't care because they still want to smoke, right? And producers also know that you're edited. When producers know that you're edited, they'll pass most of the tax to you, right? And because of that, consumer burden is greater. I say in your question two that day, right? There are two answers, right? One is demand inelastic or consumer burden. Demand inelastic is this one. Another one is supply elastic. Both also you must know. Both also you must know. Supply elastic, right? Like CD, you, do you know what's a CD? I don't know your generation. Do you know what's a CD? You know, uh, confirm. Uh. CD is the one that now nowadays we use it to chase the fly away, you know? We hang on top of our economy, right? And bling, 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 like that. We, we, last time we used it to play music, in case you don't know. It's not to chase the fly, you know? right? It's used to play music, right? CD, my CD, like, I bought 20 years ago. Still can play, you know? Which means what? The non pressurability is very high. So these type of producers, they produce a lot of first. They don't care. They pass tax to you. You want to buy, you buy. Don't buy, I stop. Because it will not spoil, man. It will not spoil. Makes sense. So it's non parable right? So I can pass most of the text to you. Then later, you want to buy the buy. Don't buy, I store. I store for 20 years, I still can sell. Until now, some bookstores still selling CDs, right? How many years already? Oh my God, right? Still selling the, the unfinished stock. <laughs> Not so popular single, right? Okay, makes sense. And as for the supply in elastic, let's say I'm selling vegetable. Think about during the COVID-19, during the movement control order, right? The lockdown, right? Cameron, they throw how many thousand kilos of cabbage uh, or vegetable? Why? Why they throw? Two days, three days already spoiled, ma. Right? Two, three days already spoiled. So this type of consumer, uh, this type of producers, right? They don't dare to pass tax to you. Uh. They want to sell as soon as possible, uh, as cheap as possible so that you buy and eat. Otherwise, how much they grow also useless. They cannot earn anything. 
right? So they will pass very less tax to the consumer. That's why consumer burden is lesser than producer burden. All this you need to know like, how to explain, right? I cannot give you every product in the world to explain. Okay, next one is incidental subsidies. This one I really, later I brief you again on this, right? And benefit, I will show you how to draw again in the recap session for subsidies and also production, right? Just need to know that all will lead to inefficiency. Okay, now, question one. Question one have two parts. Huh? One is part one is subsidies. Second part is tax. Right, I'll just explain briefly. Okay, first of all, I give you some points. I give you some points, right? By right, ladies and gentlemen, you should know by now why I only give you two points. Why I only give you two points? I only give you this point, this point, and this point, this point, like that, for example. Why I only give you two points? Aiden, why I give you two points only? Two points. Yes, exactly. I just need two points to draw a straight line. That's why I give you two coordinates. I didn't give you the entire table, no? So they plot, 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 don't know, plot until when? Wasting time. Right? Make sense? So you should know by now, P is equals to Y. Y axis. Q is X axis. So when you plot your coordinates, your first one should be 4, 1. Second one should be 5, comma, 0. So I give you two points, you draw one line. Attach them together first, okay? Link them together. Second one is same for here. Supply curve, okay? 0, comma, 1 and 4, comma, 5. Same thing, draw two points, link them together. Then you will find your equilibrium, okay? Then the new supply curve also got two points only. Same thing, then you draw your supply curve. Eventually, it will become, if I use my graph paper, it will become like that. Just ignore, please ignore the page 15 now because the page number already changed, right? Ignore the page number, but the answer is correct, right? The thing that I label a lot, right? I label product X because the product is X. Do you label product X, for example, when you draw a diagram? How many of you see that there's a product X there? Did you? That's the problem. Price, quantity, right? After that, draw, 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 draw. Then I found that if you draw according to scale, this scale is very simple. It's just one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, right? If you draw accordingly, correctly, you should be able to find your PE, right? State the initial and new PE. The original PE is three. New PE is two, right? If you draw properly. But I was wondering, did you put dollar sign? Did you put dollar sign? Otherwise, minus half. Must remember. All these are recorded, okay? Did you put dollar sign? That's the problem. You always forgot the units. This one is we follow max, right? Right? And as for the total, ladies and gentlemen, there are two types of calculation I can ask you to calculate. So I'm going to write down again for you. This one is subsidy, huh? One is subsidy per unit. Another one is total subsidy. I can ask you to calculate, right? Subsidy per unit means what? Subsidy for one unit, right? So some of you just like check, right? Some of you give me the answer is four minus two. That one is $2. This one is subsidy per unit. It's only for one unit only. Okay. The vertical distance between two supply curves, not PE, uh, that way you okay. Vertical distance between two supply curves is per unit. The calculation for per unit. When I ask you total, remember I asked you to say, uh, calculate the rectangle area, rectangle area. Rectangle area is total. It's total. It means what? This one, total subsidy is subsidy per unit times the amount times how many quantity times how many units if you want to make put it this way right 
per unit times unit means the total subsidy. Oh. The quantity normally refer to equilibrium one, new equilibrium quantity, right? Makes sense. This is how we calculate the total subsidy. If you want to use the formula for econs, normally I just ask you to calculate the rectangle area easier. Just take the width and length, times together, then easier. Right, but up to you, up to you. Okay. So what is my benefit? My benefit is 4 minus 2, which is the vertical distance between two supply curve, times by the quantity. The quantity is new equilibrium. My new equilibrium, according to the graph paper, is 3. So times 3 together is 6. Dollars. Must remember to put units. Dollars. Okay. Make sense, huh? Make sense? On the same drawing, shade the benefit region. A lot of you, I just now I see, never shade the benefit. Because you all ignore that question, I don't know why. Why you all never shade the benefit properly? Right? How to shade? Just shade like that. I shade the... Like that, right? Then I, I scared my examiner cannot see, you know. I somehow label. Oh, this is D. Benefits enjoyed by consumers. Extra one few more words only, ma. Make sure it's clear, ma. At least I know. Oh, you are shading the correct area. How long it will take for you to write few more words, right? I know they never instruct me to label that. I just scared, ma. Kiasu, ma. You know. Oh, sorry, yeah. International student don't know what's kiasu. Can you explain? English, those English very good. Can you explain what's kiasu? Afraid to lose. Everything must get full marks, right? Afraid to lose. Right, okay. And uh, in fact, a lot of students just now ask me, hey, how to write, uh, sir? How to write? Okay, I'll show you. First one, what do you write? Definition, same thing. Okay, subsidies can be considered a grant. I told you before, I, I think I wrote the definition for you before. Right? Then you write, when I say effects, you need to write direct and indirect. Remember or not? Effects. Direct effects means what? Same thing. PE, QE, supply, shift left, shift right. That's that's the direct. Can see from diagram one. Right? What they write? Supply will shift right law because it's subsidy. Equivalent price go down law. Equivalent quantity go up law. This one is direct. Okay? After that. Indirect. <coughs> indirect is what? There will be lack of innovation and incentive to compete, right? Take Proton, for example. Proton is our local car, in case international student, you don't know, right? Proton is our local car. The government has been protecting Proton for don't know how many years already. Until GD take over, only they can improve. GD is the Chinese car, car manufacturer, right? Then only you have, hey, Proton, lower down my window. Last time, uh, before GD take over, uh, after two years, when you buy the car, right? After two years, right? You sure cannot wind down the window one. Should e e e e the either the manual one, auto one also cannot. That's the problem. And then why? Because they know government keep on give them subsidies, they don't care. This make them lack of innovation and lack of incentive to improve, to compete. Make sense? Okay. This is indirect. You cannot see in the diagram one, right? This is the first one. Second one. They can use it to pay them handsome bonus. They put it in the pocket only. Right? Another reason is the producer purposely want to make losses. Huh? Why the why the producer want to make losses? I thought making profit is better. Sometimes the subsidy given by the government is greater than the profit they earn themselves. Makes sense. Huh? Right? They purposely, you know, accountant, anyone study accounting? Accounting? They ask their accountants, right? Turn all the numbers into bracket, bracket numbers and turn all the green color number to red nugget number. That's all. Then they submit the government. Oh, you pity you making losses again. Come on, give you more subsidies. This is the inefficiency. Makes sense, huh? Same like you, Ma, if your if your parents only give you 10 ringgit per month, right? 10 ringgit per month. Huh? Then you post in IG, you know? hashtag, hashtag your father and mother, you know, mention your father and mother. Right, and put hashtag 10 ringgit per month. I can only eat a loaf of bread. One week, I need to eat three times bread. Then your parents say, oh, you pity you. Then give you more money. Same thing only. So the government also act like parents, right? They purposely pretend to make losses. 
okay, so that the government can give them more subsidies. This one is indirect, right? Or subsidies can lead to opportunities. Wow, if you write like that, full marks, ladies and gentlemen, because you link to other chapter, you remember I say what, humble flex. You don't need to explain what is opportunity cost anymore, right? Of course, I also explain that. Lecturer, man. right? Okay, okay. Why, why opportunity cost? If I give subsidies to you, uh, what is what is this? I don't know what product, product X, right? Means I cannot give subsidies to those who really need, or I cannot use it to use it to build roads. I cannot use the resources to build hospitals. So look at the Cameron Highland, you know? My eyes I use the subsidies to build roads, right? Do you, do you see the Cameron Highland, the flood, like waterfall like that? In your TikTok or literary book, you see that? My God. Scary, no. When it's a heavy rain, <laughs> The road looks like waterfall. Then, brr, brr, brr. I know because my second wife is from Cameron Island. Right, I really know, right? But lucky I've got four wheel. Otherwise, how to go through that waterfall? Right, jam, oh my God, seriously. Okay, so this one is opening cost given, right? If I give you the money, then they cannot use the money to do other stuff. This is opening cost. Well, you can write like that at full marks. Don't say, okay? Next one is text. Huh? Text, I will not repeat the steps on how to plot, right? The diagram should look like that, something like that, right? I think there's a label wrong, uh, product X or Y. Uh. You're going to change the label, uh, right? This one is text, part two. Text, just now that one is subsidies. Any question? Part one is, is subsidy. Part two is text, right? For part two, right? The initial equilibrium price, if you plot correctly, it should be $4. New equilibrium price should be $7. But this is not the, if you take the difference, this is not the tax. Right? The total tax burden should be what? Two supply curve distance. So she should be 7 minus 3. Okay? This one is tax per unit. Or specific tax we call it specific tax times the quantity which is new quantity equilibrium is 36 so total should be 144 this one is the correct answer 144 they never ask you respectively which means they never ask you to calculate the total tax burden by consumer producers respectively so you don't need to separate consumer burden and producer burden just tax Okay, just add them together. If you already calculated the consumer and produce burden, add them together, you will get the same answer, which is 144. Okay, unless I ask you respectively, then this one is two marks. Total consumer burden, one mark. Total produce burden, one mark. Okay, makes sense? If it's just total tax burden, just one. Just one. Okay? Makes sense? All right? Same for the effects, uh, effects right? The direct effects, I don't want to say again, uh, direct effects, blah, 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 blah. But in this essay, is it different from another one? Yes. Because in here, when I write direct effects, I purposely use the mathematical method to write. Remember, I brief you when I asked you, what is the mathematical method? In my area this time, I did not put the shaded area. I did not put color. What I do? I put PE1, PE, J, I, H. Right and P2. This one is the mathematical, mathematical method, which means what? When I want to say the consumer burden, consumer have to bear a larger tax burden area bracket I J P E P1. Right, then the producer, which is H I P E P2, like that. This is how you use the mathematical way to explain. If you don't want to shade or you run out of colors or you don't like to draw under polka dots and not polka dots, right? This is how you how you do. However, I also mentioned before, don't use A, B, C, D, and P, Q, R, S when you labor for mathematical weight, right? Why? D stands for demand. P stands for price. Q stands for quantity. S stands for supply. If you use P, Q, R, S especially, there are so many P and Q and S all over my diagram. I don't know whether you label your demand and supply correctly or P and Q. So try to avoid. That's why I use H, I, J. Make sense. Try to avoid using that because I would misunderstood, ma. 
Oh, hey, why you plot your pee? Why you plot your pee in the H there? In the J there? In the I there? I thought it's price. You plot wrongly. Right? You know what I mean? Right? So you must think in terms of also examiner, right? How I think, right? This one is direct, don't care. Indirect, ah. Indirect means it will lead to purchasing power decrease. Initially, I buy 10 toilet rolls. Okay, I use the income to buy 10 toilet rolls. Now, because of tax increase, I can only buy eight. So I, have, I can buy lesser, no? So this is indirect, right? Okay, and because of that, it will lead to lower standard of living. Initially, I use two sheets of toilet paper. Now I can only use one because not enough to use. Makes sense because I buy lesser already. Ma. I want to save save money. Ma. Okay. Or you go and look at the what's the new drama? Eight. Ah. Stage number eight or something like that. Can't remember. How how he saved the toilet paper because not enough to use, right? Okay. And Normally, low-income group will suffer more, blah, blah, blah. Talk something like that, right? Second thing. Second, the indirect effect. Hey, can you write something like out of the box? Oh, sorry. Move a little bit away from the center of the box, right? More tax means what? The necessity. What happens? More expensive. If they cannot buy what they do, it's still not. Do you go to some departmental store or some supermarket? Do you see that the Milo and milk powder, they always like make a, another area and with the cashier there, right? Why they do that? Too free, hire one more, nothing to do. They do that because a lot of them steal Milo and also milk powder. Because in Malaysia, I'm so sorry about that, we think that Milo is a necessity. A lot of them, they grow up using Milo, I don't know how many kilos of Milo. In overseas, in New Zealand, when I buy, right? It's only 200, 500 gram. The, spot, the biggest is 500 gram. In here, it's 5 kilo. Right, necessity. <laughs> I told you, your mother paid you all with Milo only, right? Never paid using milk powder. Why? Because too expensive. So they make another counter there to stop you from bringing it out. Right? So this one is, why well, if you can write like that, who is sure? Who marks? Right? Okay, next one is the pricing price for, yeah, uh, it's in your general channel cost already. Huh? Effects are uh, normally it will be together with diagram. Together with diagram and effects. And then you have to write the solution for the solutions for pricing price all you need to write the solution for shortage and surplus. It will be nine marks uh, at least. Nine marks. You need to write a lot. D will be nine. D or D maybe six marks like that. Six marks. Hmm? So like uh, examples. Yeah, together. Diagram, no? diagram two marks, no? definition one mark. No? The rest is six marks, no? nine marks. Make sense? Make sense? Thank you for your question. Good question. Hmm? All these are essay. You just write as in essay because you are what? Week nine already. Week nine already. Do you improve on your essay? Don't worry. Tomorrow I will know. <laughs> Tomorrow I say it's 10. Tomorrow I say it's 10%. 10 mark. 10 mark, 10%. Huh? Any question? Huh? Any question? I say, I say uh, Some people just don't ask me. I say only one. If you want more challenges, just tell me I can attack one more sentence if I'm two. Can you write two essays in 45 minutes? No. No, then, then why you ask there? Eh? What how many questions for essay? Don't make sense, right? Right? I used to give two all the time. They can finish off. Depends. Everything depends. Right, okay? Okay? Do one also cannot finish. Huh? Right? What to do two? Yo, should be like Blackpink. No, sir, I want more. One question is not enough for I say it. Right? Blackpink. Okay, never mind. Let's continue. Bread and milk. Huh? Same thing. Huh? Normally, what I start? Right definition first, right? My definition is not correct, con correct, uh, not complete, uh, because I forgot to write above or below minimum uh, the equivalent price. Minimum should be above, right? And there will be inefficiency, so you have to tell. Uh, dairy cow farmers having difficulties. 
right? Don't always keep on using producer. You already know milk, ma. What's the producer milk? Those who have dairy cows, huh? right? Dairy cows, they are facing difficulties. As a result, what happened? The government decided to impose a minimum price, right? But now there's other problems. Why? Right? Rational customers, they want to choose cheaper alternative. Indirect, this one, I never, I think I never read inside the PowerPoint slide last time, right? They don't drink milk, they drink soy milk. Lah. I wouldn't die, what? Will you, will you die? If you never drink milk, you won't die, right? Okay? So it will lead to content supply greater and content demand because the cow farmer now want to produce more, but no one want to drink, right? And oh, if you link to a little bit, PS, oh yo, due to the perishability of milk. Wow, one word, full marks. <laughs> wow, because why? You know, man, more milk will be thrown away. Another inefficiency will be underground market. What is the underground market for milk? Some people, they don't want to pay the price for it. They still want to drink milk. What should they do? They will go to the rural area, buy directly from the farmers. The farmers will usually give them a cheaper price. That was illegal, but it's underground. It's underground. Make sense? If my town is, if my city is near the town, like maybe five kilometers, I just drive there, buy the fresh milk, come back. Lah. I don't want to buy from the market. The market is expensive. Lah. There's a price for. Lah. So this is illegal market as well, right? The farmers don't mind selling you because they don't need to transport. Right? Okay? Make sense? Price setting, same thing. Normally it's for, for what? For necessities. Because you, you need to tell me bread is a staple, is a necessity. It's a staple food, right? And more common in plant economy, this one is in my PowerPoint slides. Then you talk about shortage. Long queue can be observed. But the baker, you see, I never use the word producer. Because everyone is writing producer. I know who sells bread. The baker law, the bakery law. Makes sense. The baker might think that it's no longer profitable. So they might reduce as a result, shortage, underground group. Underground, what happened? High income group will, want, will not want to wait. Blah, blah, blah. So they will buy at more expensive price. Say, I don't want to wait. Give me the... Even the concert tickets, what? Not so already. In, I think, one hour. Just how I mentioned, why? J Chow. Use four devices. Four devices also. And he said his house still got five devices. Huh? I don't know his family helped him to buy. Huh? Four devices in class, five devices in the house, also cannot buy. If you I, you really promise your girlfriend now, huh? buy higher price, oh, buy in Shopee. Oh. Right, makes sense. You buy higher price, oh. makes sense. So this is black underground market. Oh. Makes sense, okay? Again, uh, second last one before our break. This one I told you before already, Simon. There are two answers. How do I see there are two answers? Although they say what use one diagram, uh, this one maybe I put wrongly. But in here, do you see? Singular or plural? It's plural. Plural means at least two. At least two. So, Miss means what? If I say I accidentally put wrongly, it gives a diagram, but there are two outcomes. One of it, you don't know, no? don't do diagram, no? Another one, you don't diagram, no? Then center radio. I cannot give you wrong one because I, my question got error, man. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, one of the outcome, you draw the diagram. But both outcomes also you need to explain, right? If you forgot, if you never see this one little letter, you will straight lose how many marks? You will straight lose 4.5 marks. Some people find it hey, I do very well, I do very well. I write very long. Why? I, I fail my final. Because they miss one letter only, one letter, which is S. That's all. Not the S at the S hole. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, that, that S, uh, right? Okay. That one is actually pronounced wrongly. Your grammar is wrong. Actually, should, by right, should be known as Haas hole. English are Malaysian English are very bad. Right. Okay. Okay, never mind. I don't want to talk about grammar now. Right. So this one is outcomes. So there are two. One way is what? Price sitting for the rise. Another one is subsidy. When I draw subsidies, although they never ask about incidence or subsidies, I also draw incidence. Right. 
Okay, makes sense. This is how I do. Right. Next, explain. Same thing, start from what? Definition and definition. Two outcomes, two definitions. Right? Okay, after that, first, blah, 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 blah. Talk about pricing, talk about pricing, blah, 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 blah. Right? Oh, just now the one, uh, the, just now the bread and milk, uh, I never write the solutions for the shortage and surplus because it's not necessary. Okay, they asked me to explain the government intervention only. They never asked me to explain until the solution for the effects. Right? If I want you to write the solution, I will say explain blah 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 and the effects and the, and the solution for the effects. Makes sense. Say, but this one, eh, because they only ask me one question, eh, first thing I will write until the effects, the solution, right? So for this one, blah 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 blah, you talk, 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 talk. Underground market, long queue can be seen in front of, don't just write long queue can be seen in front of where, where you buy your rice. Grocery stores or hypermarkets so right? Just write lah. Underground market. I already told you example ma. I give you. I show you the YouTube right. Example: Winam plastic rice are sold to consumers. This is example. Your example should be something like that. Not example. For example, farmers will have lot of incentive to produce more rice. That's not example. That's explanation. For example, this Winam is. For example, long queue can be seen. This is not example. This is just explanation. Example must be more specific. This is example, okay? This is also a small example, such as, you know, go and sign this. this, this. Okay, all right. Okay. Second, subsidies, or then you talk about subsidies, blah, blah, blah. Same thing only, right? Talk about the areas. Which area I say? I say orange area because I use color. Orange area is what? Orange area is my producer benefit, right? And the green area is the consumer. Then you talk, 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 same thing only, right? Last the solutions. Then only I talk about solutions, right? How do I write? Advertisement. Encourage demand. How do I write? Or discourage demand, right? Substitutes of rice. Huh? Uh, this is my small example, such as brown rice and basmati rice is the substitutes for white rice. Or Japanese rice, right? Is the substitute for our white rice. So you have to write like that for me, ma. Where is the substitute? For example, advertising on the consuming of substitutes. Everyone also can write, ma. Uncle Roger also can write. Ma. Okay. Uncle Roger also come up with their own instant noodles right here. Oh, Uncle Roger. The demand, right? Okay, then and the rest is uh, other examples, ah. Uh, Kill anti lamb. Right, subsidies, then you talk about something to sum up, blah, blah. Okay, last one. Eh? Last one, just now I already told you. How many answers? Circumstances is one or two. Two. How many you draw? I asked you to add your never add. I checked some of you already. You add circumstances two, ma. even you never see this word, right? This time I put correctly, ma. How many diagrams? Diagrams or not diagram or? I give you two hints. Eh? Some of you, again, some of the seniors, what they do? They only draw one. Explain one. So, maximum four marks. Another four, I really straight away cut. I say, thank you, bye-bye. I don't need to mark, bye-bye. Four marks, gone. Just like that, okay? Make sense, huh? So there are two answers, no, two circumstances. One is demand inelastic, one is supply elastic. I use back the original, the traditional example in case people complain. Mr. Nidus only need to give them very funny, very don't know what type of example, don't know how to write traditional way. Now I show you how I write traditional way. Cigarettes and CDs, the traditional examples, right? First of all, definition. Same thing after that. First, consumer will best one million because of habit. You must link to PD, no choice one. Even though this one will not come up, still have to link. Make sense, huh? This one is 
tax burden and subsidies incidents uh, have to link one. Example, cigarette. Smokers are addicted, blah, blah, blah. Even the patient, they were not quick. So they have passed the tax to the consumers, the smokers, right? Blah, blah, blah. Second, if supply is elastic, consumer burden will also be greater. Why? For example, CD, CD can be stored for a long time period, blah, 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 blah. Then talk, 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 in summary. Then, okay, well, Najib, ah. Uh, want to see my graph? You cannot draw, man. Tomorrow test, oh, eh. Cannot draw, huh? A long time, I never see you, ah, Hosem. You absent many days, is it? How many days you absent, ah, Hosem? <laughs> I don't want to tell, ah. Wait, 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 you go back, you go back. Huh? I already go back. Oh. Okay. Oh, this one still, okay, still will fail the driving test. Already re reverse, I oh. still want to reverse, reverse, reverse. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> what, you reverse over? Over reverse? Huh? No, huh? then what you fail? This yeah. right thing. Huh? Yeah. The multiple choice. Huh? You fail multiple choice. Parking. Huh? Too bad. Huh? Who else you never pay? <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's continue. For the Najib, like I say, I, I don't need to because I don't like the Prime Minister. You're lucky. But I already give you some pointers. Huh? Pointers inside there. Pointers on how I mark. Right? Because this is a discussion question. Discussion question is harder than explanation question. Huh? Discuss. That's why I need to provide advantages. I also need to provide disadvantages. Because it's discussed. Right? Okay, let's have a break. After that, we will continue with chapter four. Any other question? No? So, I stop the recording. Hmm?